Top 10 Unexplored Places on Earth There are a handful of places around the world that are largely untouched or uninhabited. Although researchers have explored some parts of Antarctica, only aerial photos reveal what the rest of the continent and remote region is like. There's a great wide world out there, and odd as it may seem, there are some spots that have yet to be tainted by tourists or human explorers. Excluding dry land, that leaves about 65% of the Earth unexplored. There's a lot out there, potentially harboring a lot more plastic bags. There are still many abandoned and uninhabited islands around the world. After all, 270 people live on Tristan de Cunha, which is 2,430 kilometers from the next inhabited island. Islands remain uninhabited due to financial, political, environmental, religious, or a combination of those reasons. In this video, we're going to talk about Top 10 Unexplored Places on Earth. If you don't want to miss a video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post new videos. Let's get started! Number 10. Vale do Javari, Brazil Vale do Javari is one of the largest indigenous territories in Brazil, encompassing 85,444.82 square kilometers, or an area larger than Austria. It is named after the Javari River, the most important river of the region, which since 1851 forms a border with Peru. There are over 8.5 million hectares, many kilometers distant from major urban centers. The restricted access, only by waterway or air, without road or railroad near, passes the false idea that the Javari is a very isolated area, unrelated to the National Economic Development Initiative. It is commonplace to diffuse information about these uncontacted indigenous peoples as if they were people who never established contact with a national society living in the Neolithic. Number 9. Northern Patagonia, Chile The Northern Patagonian ice field, located in southern Chile, is the smaller of two remnant parts in which the Patagonian ice sheet in the Andes Mountains of Lower South America can be divided, it is completely contained within the boundaries of Laguna San Rafael National Park. However, Patagonia has always detached from the rest of the continent on many issues, among them crime and violence. Volcanoes, mountains, glaciers, and lakes create one of the most beautiful natural sights Chile has to offer. Enormous ice fields flank brilliant blue glaciers, whilst fjords and deep channels usher penguins to their waters. The region's lakes and rivers are renowned for boasting some of the greatest fly fishing opportunities. Number 8. Kamchatka, Russia the Kamchatka Peninsula is a 1,250-kilometer-long peninsula in the Russian Far East with an area of about 270,000 square kilometers. The Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Okhotsk make up the peninsula's eastern and western coastlines respectively. Also, you have to realize that in the Far East and in Kamchatka, there are almost no foreigners. Most people will be curious about why you're there, but be very hospitable when trying to find your way around. The only possibility to get to Kamchatka or leave is by air flight. The airport is located 20 kilometers from Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky in the village called Elisovo. From Elisovo Airport, there are daily flights to Moscow and several flights a week to Siberia, St. Petersburg, and Alaska. Number 7. New Hebrides Trench, Pacific Ocean An expedition to the unexplored New Hebrides Trench in the Pacific has revealed that cuskiels and crustaceans see more than 7,000 meters down. That's also known as 23,000 feet below sea level. The team used an unmanned lander fitted with cameras to film the deep sea creatures. Scientists said the ecology of this trench differed with other regions of the deep studied in the past. Anywhere else around the Pacific Rim, around the trenches we've looked at, you see a lot of grenadiers. They are quite a conspicuous part of the deep sea community. Number 6. Northern Forest Complex, Myanmar The country's northern forest complex, a 12,000 square mile tract that runs along the border from India to China in Myanmar's Kachin state, is home to tigers, bears, elephants, and hundreds of bird species. The northern forest complex is one of the largest remaining contiguous forests in Southeast Asia and stretches across lowland forests and wetlands, coniferous forests, and snow-covered mountains above the tree line in northern Myanmar. Four protected areas embrace one of the region's largest remaining expanses of natural forest, which hosts some of the region's greatest biodiversity, including what are believed to be its best remaining populations of tigers and elephants. Number 5. Singi de Bamaraha National Park, Madagascar The Singi de Bamaraha National Park is a national park located in the Meliki region, northwest Madagascar. The national park centers on two geological formations, the Great Singi and the Little Singi. Together with the adjacent Singi de Bamaraha Strict Nature Reserve, 
The National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. After reaching the top of Singi, the park is comparatively tougher to access. The park is accessible by road and two major river crossings in transit, the Sirabihina and the Menembolo, both of which are crocodile-ridden. Number 4. Southern Namibia Namibia, a country in southwest Africa, is distinguished by the Namib Desert along its Atlantic Ocean coast. The country is home to diverse wildlife, including a significant cheetah population. The capital Windhoek and coastal town Swakopmund contain German colonial era buildings such as Windhoek's Christuskirch, built in 1907. In the north, Etosha National Park salt pan draws game, including rhinos and giraffes. Southern Namibia may not be a prime safari destination, but what it lacks in famous wildlife, it makes up for in sublime desert scenery. Sandy plains dotted with quiver trees, jagged granite mountains, and imposing rock formations. Number 3. Star Mountains, Papua New Guinea The Star Mountains are a mountain range in western Papua New Guinea and the eastern end of Papua Province, Indonesia, stretching from the eastern end of Indonesia to the Hindenburg Range in Papua New Guinea. The majority ownership is being earned in phases, with Anglo to gain 15% through a farm in spend within the first four years. The remaining 36% will be acquired by Anglo if an inferred resource of 3 megatons of copper equivalent is identified within five years. Anglo has now spent 25 million US dollars on the project to gain 15% ownership, which also triggers the transfer of project management from Highlands. Number 2. Saka Republic, Russia Saka, also known as Yakutia or Yakutia, and officially known as the Republic of Saka, is a federal Russian republic. It had a population of 958,528 at the 2010 census, mainly ethnic Saka and Russians. It had a population of 958,528 at the 2010 census, mainly ethnic Saka and Russians. The soil contains large reserves of oil, gas, coal, diamonds, gold, silver, tin, tungsten, and many others. Saka produces 99% of all Russian diamonds and over 25% of the diamonds mined in the world. In the north, the Saka Republic is washed by the Laptev Sea and the East Siberian Sea. April and October are winter months in Yakutia. Almost the entire territory of the region is located in the permafrost zone. And at number 1, Greenland. Greenland is the world's largest island, located between the Arctic and Atlantic Oceans east of the Canadian Arctic Archipelago. It is an autonomous territory within the Kingdom of Denmark. Ironically, it is also the least populated country in the world, with about 57,728 people as of July 2016. The Central Intelligence Agency reports that 16.2% of the population lived below the poverty line in 2015. Greenland is not a place you have to worry about crime. According to the statistical website Numbio, Greenland rates low for crime and high for safety. Hope you guys liked the video! Share your thoughts in the comments below! If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video!